Good morning and welcome. I see a lot of folks at the back of the room. If you guys at the back of the room, I know you're all set up, but if you wanted to move closer, we do have tables that have uh, accoutrement on them. I'm using my big vocabulary this morning. So if you're, if you're happy back there, we, we won't make you move. Um, it's so good to see so many of you in person after this bizarre year, last year, right, of just seeing each other on Zoom, which was frustrating. I know for me it was frustrating, and I'm sure it was for you and your learners. Um, such a strange year. And now we're, we're coming back, still not quite there, right? But uh, the beautiful thing is that you, as tutors, are making do. Right? You are, you're taking what's handed to you and making the best of it. And your learners so appreciate it. They really, really do. If they don't express that to you, just know how much they appreciate how hard you are working to reach them and work with them. Uh, we've had a lot of changes here at Project READ. Um, most significantly, perhaps, we switched program managers. Uh, Amanda Gray, Amanda Harris, Amanda Gray, had a great opportunity uh, to go to Unit 4, a uh, full-time position. And so we all understood that she had to take that. Luckily, she's still working with one of our grants, my grant, the, the Penny Severin's Parent and Family Learning Lab. So we still get to see Amanda and work with Amanda, which is wonderful. Uh, and we were very lucky to get Kelly Anderson as our new program manager. She used to work with Project READ. Uh, back in the day, and we have her back, and she's very sorry that she can't be here this morning, but uh, hopes to meet all of you at our various sites or in our fancy new office. We have a beautiful new office in D133. It's lots of space. Uh, we all have our own desks, madness. Uh, it's really, it's lovely. So please come see us in D133, if you can find it, right? Parkland is always a bit of a challenge, but please come visit us there. Um, let's see. So one more thing about this last year, all of us at Project Read want to give a special thanks to Tony Schaefer. He stepped in as our program manager after Amanda left and before uh, Kelly was hired, and we could not have done what we do and helped you do what you do without him. So a big round of applause <laughs> to Tony. And as usual, in pure Tony fashion, he did it with style and grace and humor and uh, humility. So yeah, thank you so much to Tony. Um, so many positive things to highlight this morning. All our tutoring sites are gaining learners. So learners are so eager to come back and be with you and learn English. Um, at Urbana Free Library, Mondays from 9.30 to 11.30. Uh, Champaign Public Library, Fridays, 9.30 to 11.30. Uh, Parent and Family Learning Lab, Tuesday and Thursday nights. We have two nights this year from 6 to 8 p.m. And we have a new site at OSF, uh, OSF Heart of Mary Hospital, I believe that's the full title, on Sunday mornings from 10 to 11.30, where we have a lovely group of people um, that was arranged by uh, Luis. Luis Cusa helped us arrange that, so we've got some tutors there and some people who, again, are very motivated. That's the beautiful thing about our learners. They're so motivated. They come in and they so want what uh, you guys have to offer. Um, I want to go back and talk about our Secretary of State Spotlight Awards. Uh, across Illinois, five, there are over 5,000 tutors, and 10 are chosen out of 5,000. There are 10,000 learners, and only 10 are chosen. Uh, we had a learner and a tutor chosen out of those five and 10,000. Penny Lopez. One of our wonderful tutors was chosen as the uh, Secretary of State Spotlight Award winner, and her learner, Belinda Guillen. So pretty impressive that out of 5,000 and 10,000, we should have learners and tutors chosen. Um, 
they're remarkable people. So um, a round of applause for them. They're not here, but thank you. Thank you. Uh, the impact that you have on the community is really impressive. Uh, we see people from our Khan Habal speaking community, our Congolese community, uh, our Brazilian community, so many others. And we are awaiting an influx of Afghan immigrants that will soon be seeking our services. So um, it's inspiring, the work that you do and the way you reach out to people coming to this country. Um, let me give you some numbers, right? Time for some numbers. So fiscal year 21, we had a total of 121 learners and 54 tutors. Our learners clocked 2,412 hours for an average of 19.9 per learner, which is an increase of three hours more than fiscal year 20. So that's a nice increase, and that's a lot of hours for a lot of learners. Um, we had our tutors, 54 tutors. They provided 1,531 hours of tutoring, an average of 28.35 hours per tutor. And that's two and a half hours more than the previous year. So it's good to see us making gains and improving and doing more. Um, out of the 53 learners that we were able to post-test last year, 46 made gains, 46 out of 53. That's a good number. Those are, those are really good numbers to post. So yes, yes, thank you to you. You made that happen. And that was during COVID, so not even a regular year for us. Uh, I want to turn it over to Tony now. He's got some more numbers for you. Thank you, everybody, for coming out today. It's good to see you all. Um, thank you, Carolyn, Joanne, Bobby Joe, for, uh, and Tawana, too, for keeping me sane during that uh, interim period that I served, too. Um, and, of course, the tutors who um, just make this so rewarding for me. Um, so I'd like to read off the names and recognize um, tutors who have given significant number of hours during the last fiscal year. Um, so at our bronze level, who have volunteered over 30 hours for the past fiscal year, we have Kathy Salika, Lydia Lee, Julie Clark, Catherine Cabrera, Ivana Franzik, Diane Turando, Edvin Rios, and Joanne Murray. Um, above 40 hours volunteered at our sil silver level. Cecile Steinberg, Dark Huglich, Abhik Borthakar, Anna Merritt, Hannah Kang, K. Masanari. And then at our gold level, uh, above 70 hours, Aida Alabak, Penny Lopez, Christy Roskowski, Mary Barano, Bob Kirby, and Ann Benefil. Thank you so much. So Kathy Salika was briefly mentioned as one of our tutors, and we have a Kathy Salika Outstanding Service Award. It was awarded to and named for Kathy Salika in 2018. Uh, and it's an award that we give to one of our tutors that goes above and beyond, that does um, more than they are asked to do and really gives of themselves. And this year, our award goes to Bob Kirby. Bob, could you just let us know who you are? Bob is a, uh, he's a retired physician, and for many years he has run uh, the Easy English Fellowship at First Presbyterian Church in Champaign. Last year, he had over 90 hours of tutoring on Zoom. Now, 
In my other job, I am a high school teacher and I taught over Zoom last year for most of the year. And let me tell you, it is not easy. <laughs> it is not easy. It's complicated. It's difficult, right? As you know, if you've been tutoring over Zoom, to get all those screens, the sharing, the mic on, the mic off, making sure people can see what they need to see. I cannot imagine that, Bob. So uh, that was really impressive. He had a Sunday class that was so popular that he had to add a Monday class, right? So imagine doing something that's so complicated and difficult and then, oh, let's do it twice a week instead of once a week. Why not? Um, he tutored over 36 people this year. I believe some of his learners are here today. Is that true? Do we have Bob, some of Bob's learners here today? Yes, yes, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you for being with us, guys. Uh, Bob has been doing this for quite a few years, and it's safe to say that he has tutored hundreds of people throughout the years. Um, that's just, it just blows my mind how the impact of that, there's such an impact not just for the people being tutored, but for their families and for their friends and the inspiration that they give to their communities. When people in their community see them learning English and being more successful and having more successful interactions in the community, then they too want to learn English. And so it's, it's exponential, the good that is done. So uh, we have a video to share with you about Bob, all about Bob. I'm Tony Schaefer, uh, site coordinator with Project READ, and I'm here with one of our tutors, Bob Kirby. And uh, Bob's not just any one of our tutors. Um, I, I'm proud to give Bob our Kathy Salika Outstanding Service Award for his work over the past year. Bob, congratulations. Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much. Who is Catherine Salika? Uh, Kathy is uh, one of our, uh, she's the original award winner mm -hmm. uh, of that uh, mm -hmm. Outstanding Service Award. Mm -hmm. um, majority of her learners are math learners, mm -hmm. um, but she has tutored uh, an incredible number uh, of hours with mm. us. Cool. Well, it's an honor to receive the award in her name. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. You're welcome. I'll set that down for now. Um, so. Bob has earned this award um, for his work over the past year. Uh, when the pandemic hit, Bob took his Sunday Zoom class and uh, Sunday in-person class and turned it into a Zoom class. And this class had uh, anywhere from eight to 12 learners every week. And after uh, a while, Bob decided that some of those learners needed even additional help. And so he split some off um, or had some work additional time with him on Monday nights. So uh, we know that, that working with one or two learners through Zoom isn't easy, but Bob, um, you decided to take on a whole classroom of learners through Zoom. And um, I joined in at the end of, of some of those sessions for intakes and assessments. And, um, you, you have a gregarious group, so there's some chatter uh, in French usually, and there are babies crying, there might be TVs in the background, um, and some people might even be sleeping, you know, not, not from the uh, content, of course, or the <laughs> presenter, but, but because your, your uh, learners work a lot of hours. So um, it, it was really, truly a, an achievement that, mm -hmm. that you had with those two classes over the past year. Um, so, Bob, when uh, did you start with Project READ? I think that uh, I first began uh, back about uh, 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had, um, it was just at retirement and was trying to think of you know, what I could do with my time that would be productive on retirement. So I came to one of the Project Read training sessions. They were two weekends in a row at that time and got certified and got assigned a learner and it all started from that. Hey, wonderful. Well, we're sure glad that you did. Um, 
in all this time, do you have any idea of how many learners uh, that you've tutored taught? Uh, Tony, that's a hard one because, you know, some people make an appearance, you don't see them oh, again. Right. I don't know if I can count them. And others are there for years and years and years. Um, I was trying to think about that a few days ago, and I'm, I, I was thinking in the neighborhood of maybe 75 to 100 individuals. But my wife said, you know, with the time you spend, it has to be more than that. It must be over 100 because, um, so I'm not really sure. Maybe 75 to 100 different people. Amazing. Yeah. Um, and from those, do any uh, certain learner achievements stand out to you? <laughs> well, there's a lot of them, Tony. It's hard to pick one. Uh, I'll tell you the story about, about one. I'll tell you the story about the first person that, mm -hmm. that I had. Um, his name was Fistone. He was from Matadi in, in the DR Congo. And he was just recently here in Champaign-Urbana living with three roommates uh, and uh, coming to classes here, ESL classes here at Parkland where I was tutoring in the classroom. And uh, somehow he learned that I had was a physician and he wanted to tell me about a medical complaint that he had. And, you know, there weren't very many words, but, you know, it hurts, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was very concerned. So I, I said, well, let's make an appointment. We'll make an appointment. No money, no money, no money, Bob, no money. And I said, we'll make an appointment at the Christian Health Clinic. There's no money. And you can see the doctor there. So drove him there and sat waiting an hour, as you do in free clinics often. And uh, drawing diagrams, trying to use words about the family. And uh, uh, it was difficult, but we bonded. And uh, sometimes later, I continued to see him in class. And sometimes later, he said something like, you know, Bob, if you want to help us, if you want to help the community, you know, you should teach them English. We need English. You know, we need jobs. You know, we need English. And um, so he brought his roommates and him, and that was my first English class. Um, we met initially at the library and then at the church, and then they brought friends, and more friends came, and more friends, and... Uh, <laughs> And that's how the, how the ESL program at First Presbyterian Church started. Fistone uh, finished his classes at Parkland. He did the CNA program, worked as a CNA at County Nursing Home. It was called County Nursing Home then. Uh, then um, did a course on uh, cardiac electro, uh, electrocardiography, became a cardiac electrocardiography technician, and took a job at... Uh, uh, St. Mary's in Decatur, and he's been there working ever since. Brought his wife, had three sons, works full-time, energetic in the community. So that was kind of maybe my longest story because it was the first yeah. to the present. <laughs> yeah, impressive. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's right when he talks about what the, the community needs is English, yeah. and that, that's just a, a story of how, how impactful Mm -hmm. the teaching that can be. Yeah. Um, so after all this time, what still motivates you? Uh, what keeps you going? <laughs> you know, as I get older, I've had to give up certain things that I've done. And the thing I continue to say I can't give up is, <laughs> is ESL. I mean, I just can't do it. I think my life would be pretty empty if I didn't uh, have that. Um, I think it's the eagerness of the students. You know, I taught medical students for many years, and they're eager, motivated learners. But most of the people in ESL classes are also very right. motivated. Mm -hmm. Both fields are very practically oriented. You know, what do I need to buy groceries, get a job, manage money? Um, so there's some similarities there. And, um, and I just think they're hard work fitting in English with everything else that's on their plate. And... Uh, and making progress, I mean, you can you get rewarded by just seeing the progress that they make, you know, week after week uh, from maybe just a few words. And for some of them, 
not even knowing the alphabet or the numbers and then being able to to introduce themselves and fill out an application for a job so it's uh and the students have fun i mean mm -hmm. they support each other nicely it's a great great to work with a small group so i guess you know i don't think that'll ever fade <laughs> as long as i'm uh, able to put sentences together <laughs> yeah yeah i agree it, it's it is very rewarding and uh we think about all the the lives that you touch with the you know number of people that are in your classes mm -hmm. yeah it's very mm -hmm. impressive mm -hmm. um do you have anything else that that you'd like to say before we go well i just want to thank project reed for the wonderful program that it is i guess thank jesse white and the illinois state for library group for providing the support for the project read and uh, yeah i'm most grateful for the exceptional role models i've had as tutors and teachers here through uh, classes i would list their names but i would forget somebody and that would be disappointing uh, the administrative support the training support uh, so it's a great program and you know we have a large immigrant community we say we're a welcoming community for immigrants which i believe we are and uh, uh, the language programs and project reads in there kind of as a leader in that are the first step to to a new life for people so it's a wonderful thing so i'm very uh, thankful that we have those resources yeah and thank you yeah. for stopping in and assessing our students and uh, guiding <laughs> us as well so uh, they know you. They they love you. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly enjoy you know meeting the tutors, meeting the learners. Um, just you know smiles and, and kindness and appreciation everywhere. So, um, on behalf of, of Project Read, congratulations again, and uh, we certainly appreciate your contributions. Thank you. Thanks. Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Okay, so we want to say congratulations to um, Mr. Bob. Uh, can you start? Me? Yes, what do you say to Mr. Bob? I say con, con, thank you, Mr. Mr. Bob, for your hard job in my life. Now I can speak English, I can go to the store, buy something myself. I say thank you, thank you, Mr. Bob. Uh, Natalia, can you say something to me? Hello, Natalia. Oh, she's gone. Let's tell his mama well, well. Can you say something to me, Sebo? Yes. I, I am a student for class uh, Bob in uh, from uh, 2015 when we, we come we, we take a break we come back to school but uh, Bob said me, to me well, well change the class go go ahead I said to Bob no I cannot go ahead because I like like you you teach me I live here with you. Many, many years I am with Bob. Don't, Bob, it is a very, very, very teacher. Very much. <laughs> I, I sure, really. Uh, congrat, congratulations to Bob because he do me speak English, a little English like this. I know write, I know read, I say something in English. The English is a, a important language to do something, to to do your business, to go everywhere, to speak with the people everywhere. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, thank you. I love my teacher, Bob. Like he teach me good, 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 good things. You and Miss Ah uh, Ah uh, no Ah uh, Madam Boyo, can you say something to Miss Bob? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Thank you for for give me the hold. Mm, I can't say for Bob. Bob uh, is really uh, a good brother. Uh, Bob uh, is a uh, is good teacher. Mm, Bob love people Africa. Uh, from from Bob from Bob I, I can speak uh, English uh, I can read uh, I wish uh, all happiness for Bob long life more blessing for Bob Willy, Bob, help all family uh, to form Africa. God bless, God bless, God bless, Bob. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Madam Boyo. Mm -hmm. um, Madam mm -hmm. Boalo, do you want to say yes. something? Yes. Say, Bob? I'm Jackie Mboalo. I say congratulations uh, for my teacher, Bob. Uh, Mr. Bob, congratulations. Que, die, uh, que, God, <laughs> que God bless you. May, may God bless. <laughs> may God bless you. God bless you, Mr. Bob. Congratulations, congratulations. I love, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Natalia, can you say something? Please, Bob. Say in English. In English. In English. <laughs> yeah. You say, I know. Good afternoon. I'm Natalia. Good afternoon. We cannot see you. We cannot see you. Your face. Okay, now we can see you. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> now. J'ai 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 un appel. Je uh -uh. je parle seulement. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Open Bob. your video. We cannot see you. Please. Yeah, j'ai un appel ici. Ça entre. Ça, ça fermé. Okay, go ahead. Speak. Then. Je voulais seulement parler afin que la personne. Go ahead. Speak then. Good afternoon, I'm Natalia. Good afternoon, teacher Bob. How are you doing on these these fine days? These fine days. Anyway, we want to say thank you. We want to say congratulations for for all. You have you you. <laughs> we grateful. To have your you are you as a teacher, we appreciate appreciate your way of studying studying the lesson by praying, and you are a best teacher. May God protect you and increase your life and stay blessed. We love you. Mm -hmm. Natalia. <laughs> Mama Cole, do you want to say congratulations to Mr. Bob? <laughs> Friend, long time. <laughs> we cannot see you, Mama Cole. Can you can you show us your face here, please? <laughs> your beautiful face here. Mm. We do not mm. see you. I'm Mama Cole. Thank you, Mr. Bob. You are a good teacher. I speak English now. Good life. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mama <laughs> Colette. I love you. <laughs> then, Judith Sinda, do you have anything to say to Mr. Bob? Because we are oh. recording. Oh. <laughs> 
Thank you for Mr. Bob for English. Uh, God bless you for for speaking me for really um um I'm the thank you for you. God bless you. Thank you, so thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody. I, I appreciate your time. Thank you. 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 God, eh. uh, Bob is my best uh, teacher long time ago. He teach me more, more things. When I come to America, I cannot say hi, hello, how are you? Bob teach me all, all, all. I thank to Bob. I thank you very, very much, my teacher. You are my teacher. God bless you many, many, many times. <laughs> you and your family. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Mama Wawe. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's not bien. Fale, moi, je pas préparé. Moi, je ne peux pas préparer. Il fallait quand même pas se préparer, vraiment. Thank you. We are recording. Moi, moi, je ne savais même pas comment faire comme ça. Moi, je savais. Oh. As you can see, the learners are so appreciative, as are we all, Bob. Thank you so much for all the work you have done and continue to do. Uh, so we have one more video to show you, um, and this is a video uh, that um, really illustrates the uh, impact that Project READ can have on whole families. So uh, we have Youssef Baya, who is here with us today. Um, Youssef is a current Project Read learner. His father, uh, Regregi, was also a learner with Project Read and at Parkland Adult Ed. And his mother, Fatima, is also a Project Read learner. Um, so I'm sorry, it's not a video, right? It's in person? Yes. OK, sorry, my confusion. So come on up, Youssef. Um, and uh, we would love to hear your story. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to this ceremony. My name is Yusuf Baya. I am from Morocco. I, come to, I, I came to America about five years ago, but, uh, but I didn't live here constantly. I kept visiting my home country and uh, coming back. I have my family here in Champagne my parents brother and two of my sister live here my parents came to america about 10 years ago <clears throat> i would like to thank you guys for helping my parents learn english especially teacher sarah and teacher tony and sandy i noticed the a huge difference in my parents before and after the they came to america my family came to America for a better future. Personally, I thank my teacher for helping me start learning English, which helps me in my uh, everyday life, that has my job or uh, getting around town. Thank you very much for everyone in Project uh, uh, Read. It really helped me and uh, many other people. I would, I would, uh, I would like to thank my niece Manar. Uh, she has helped me for uh, ceremony, and I would like to to thank for uh, my teacher supervisor and uh, my uh, mother's teacher. I don't know your name, and uh, I would thank for uh, Tony. Uh, he helps the class learn in a very simple way. 
fortune. All the decisions came for different country. Now we learn or know English. His, his style for teaching is very challenging in helping us learn this language. He puts in our off her uh, effort to, to help us. Words cannot describe no much. I would like to join. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Youssef. I think that that illustrates beautifully how the, the exponential effect of tutoring that they can have on a family. Um, so that is it for this portion of our uh, tutor, appreci tutor appreciation ceremony. We, are, we do have a game that we're going to be playing at our tables. I did want to let you know we are having a free book fair. <gasps> free books. Uh, gently used books, tutoring materials uh, in our office, D133, uh, Monday the 22nd, so not this coming Monday, but the next, from 1 to 3, or if that's not a good time for you, reach out to us and you can make an appointment and we'll have you in and you can see all our free goodies. So again, thank you to all of you for what you do. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for our learners who are here today and um, we appreciate you.